babies that survive the fetal period with teratoma and can undergo a resection of the tumor after birth uh, have very good outcomes. So in the big view, many of these kids do quite well, but you still need to do the homework of the precise follow-up, not only in the short term, but also in the long term. You have to monitor a baby for about three years before you can be absolutely sure that there's no recurrence of the tumor. So follow up by examination, potentially by imaging studies such as MRI, and by tumor markers such as alpha fetal protein and a beta HCG are important. Most importantly is the follow up we need to do for their first several years of life in terms of following their alpha fetal protein level um, at one month and three month and then six month and then annual. To rule out a tumor recurrence because if the tumor is not completely resected, it can come back. The residual tumor can become malignant, metastases can occur, and the teratoma then becomes a germ cell tumor. Most of those recurrences, if they're uh, detected early, can be treated as well. And that's why making sure that they're followed um, uh, later on um, throughout their life is, is very important. But aside from the occasional malignancy that you see with SCT, most of the kids can have uh, very normal lives um, with good outcomes.